There are tons of these body fat scales out there, but are they actually accurate? That's what we're gonna find out today. And if you wanna learn how to lose fat without giving up carbs, then subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. I'm so happy you're here. My name is Vivian. I am an online fitness and nutrition coach, and I recently lost 18 pounds. So we get to compare my before and after body fat percentages on the gold standard DEXA, this home body fat scale, and another at home method. Here is a side by side comparison so you know what we're working with. We got thick viv on the left at the end of a lean bulk, and then we got lean V on the right at the end of a cut. Let's start with the DEXA scan. So before, I was 135.7 pounds, 30.9% body fat, with 88.9 pounds of lean mass. And after, I was 116.8 pounds, 25.2% body fat, with 82.6 pounds of lean mass. Also, I just want to note that I took this DEXA scan a month after I finished my cut so that I would have my glycogen stores a little more filled out, which means that the lean mass would be more accurate. So the change from the DEXA scan is 18.9 pounds, 5.7% body fat, and 6.3 pounds of lean mass. Now let's compare that with the home body fat scale. This gives you a lot of information, but I'm still just gonna focus on the three most important things. So before, I was 135.45 pounds, according to this, 37.74% body fat with 84.32 pounds of fat-free mass. After, I was 117.3 pounds, 29.99% body fat with 82.14 pounds of fat-free mass. So in total, I'm down 18.15 pounds, 7.75% body fat, and 2.18 pounds of fat-free mass. If we compare the body fat scale to the DEXA, we can see that there are some differences. The weight is about the same, so that's fine. That's nothing I'm worried about. One issue in comparing the DEXA's lean body mass to the scale's fat-free mass is that these are two slightly different things. Lean body mass will always be higher because it includes the weight of the essential fat that you need to survive that is stored in places like your organs. According to this study by Yu et al, my lean body mass could be higher than my fat-free mass by up to 5%, which isn't that much, but this could explain why these numbers are different for me. However, the change in both of these should be the same because it's not like I'm going to burn the essential fat around my heart before getting rid of the storage fat in my thighs. Do these results surprise you? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Before we make any conclusions on if this body fat scale is accurate, let's compare it to one more body fat method. And this might surprise you because I was not expecting this. This navy method is simple and can be done at home with just a scale and tape measure. So just so you know, this calculator rounds up to the nearest whole measurement. My previous readings were 136 pounds at 31% body fat and 94 pounds of lean mass. After my cut, I am 117 pounds at 25% body fat with 88 pounds of lean mass. That's a 19 pound change, 6% change in body fat, and 6 pound change in lean mass. Look at how this compares to the other two. This simple at home method gives pretty similar results to the DEXA scan in terms of body fat percentage, change in body fat percentage, and change in fat free mass. So back to the question of, are body fat scales accurate? Keep in mind that all these body fat readings are just estimates. The only way to truly know what your body fat percentage is would be to grind you up and send you to a lab to be analyzed. But I feel like for most people, that's not something that we can do on the regular. Let's talk about the pros and cons for each of these. The DEXA scan is the most accurate. It can tell you your fat mass and fat free mass for each segment. So left arm, right arm, torso, left leg, and right leg. And it can also tell you your bone density, which is great for health and osteoporosis prevention. However, each scan can be at least 75 to $100, maybe cheaper if you buy it in bulk, 
but you also have to go to a facility to get this done. The body fat scale is convenient because you can use it whenever you want at home. All you have to do is step on it and use the app. And it's kind of fun because you get all this information, but don't let this information overwhelm you or stress you out about what your body is like. However, we know that these numbers are a little bit off compared to the DEXA scan, so I would take this information with a grain of salt. Even if it tells you you're chubby, don't let that define your value because you're worth so much more than these numbers. The Navy calculator is pretty simple to do at home also, and the numbers are pretty similar to those from the DEXA scan. However, just because my numbers from the Navy calculator were similar to the numbers from the DEXA scan, it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll get the same results because what probably happened was researchers got a group of people and they measured their body circumferences as well as their body fat percentage. And then they just like made this equation that connected those data points. So if your proportions are different from that of the people from the study, then your results from doing this calculator might not be as accurate. Remember, absolute body fat percentage is not as important as change. When I say this, I mean don't get so hung up on where you're currently at. Even if you're at a high body fat percentage, if you're taking the action to lower your body fat, then that change, that trajectory matters more. Don't let this number stop you from moving towards your goal and living a happy, healthy life. If you want guidance to lose fat, feel confident in your body, and have a healthier relationship with food, then apply for my Empower program through the link in the description box down below. Click here if you wanna learn how to do the Navy SEAL body fat method. If you liked the video, press the like button. If you like the kind of information I put out, press the subscribe button. And if you have a few minutes, here are some videos that I think you might enjoy. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm grateful for you, and I hope your life is filled with gratitude too.